Okay guys, motivation study is hard to find if you don't know where to start. So the first thing you need to get yourself motivated is a plan. Go and check out my video on how to plan a study timetable. That will really, really help get you motivated. Because if you know when you come home on a Tuesday, you need to sit down and do this, then the chances are you will. Sometimes the amount of studying you have to do, the amount of things that you have to do can seem really, really overwhelming. And it's hard to work out where to start. If you start by planning a timetable, then it's much, much easier for you. It's kind of like taking away what so much to think about. If you know that after dinner on a Friday you had to sit down and do your maths, then you're much more likely to sit down and do half an hour worth of maths than if after dinner on a Friday you're kind of like, oh my god, I've got so much homework to do due Monday and I don't know when to start. If you have a plan, you're much more likely to sit down and do it. It's like your timetable for school. You don't really have a choice about what you do first thing on a Monday. You don't really have to be motivated about going into school, but you don't have a lot of choice about it. You have to do it. So if you make the same timetable for your studying as you do for your school, you're much, much more likely to stick to it. Now, the second thing you can do to get yourself motivated is rewarding yourself. When I have loads and loads and loads of coursework to mark, and honestly guys, I love you, but marking your coursework isn't the most interesting thing I do ever. Um, so I reward myself. After I've marked five papers, I have a Mars bar. Okay, not like a mini, like a mini, mini Mars bar, tiny one, not a whole one, that would be ridiculous. Or after I've marked five papers, I have a Skittle. Teeny tiny rewards. Once you've done this, you can like have something small. It's like trying to uh, potty train the toddler. After he pees in the potty, he gets a star for his chart. You can say, if I do a whole day's worth of studying, then I can do this. Or if I do all of my studying today, I can have an extra half an hour on the Xbox. You need to give yourself small rewards that are going to be immediate. This is gonna be really, really good. It's gonna be really, really motivate you. And you've got to stick to it because if you don't do your studying and then you still give yourself the reward, well, it's, it's pointless, it won't work. The third thing that will really, really help you with motivation is setting yourself a goal. What are you aiming for? Now, I know this is all about getting the grades, but what are you gonna use those grades for? Do you want to get onto a particular course at college? Do you want to go to a particular university? Now, I'm a bit older than you. Yeah, okay, I can admit that. But I loved the Gilmore Girls. And the daughter in the Gilmore Girls had her whole bedroom plastered with posters, with t-shirts, with banners from the university that she wanted to go to. And she was using this as her motivation, as her goal to studying. If you can think of a picture of what you're going to use your results for, what are you going to use these grades to get you sometime in the future? Is it getting onto that course? Do you need, I mean, do you need a C in science to get onto the drama course? If you do, then that's your motivation for studying science, because I know not all of you love it. For those of you that obviously do love science, do you need to get that top grade to get into Cambridge? Then get yourself a nice poster of Cambridge, get yourself a nice poster of Drama College and stick it on your wall. Have your goal, your aim, your motivation really, really visible for you all the time. Stick it there in your face and don't just stick it in one place. Stick it on the inside of your bedroom door so that every time you walk in and out, you're reminded of it. Stick it on the bathroom mirror so that every time you brush your teeth or straighten your hair, you're reminded of it. Being constantly reminded of what you are aiming for, what you're working for, is a really, really important motivational tool. So make a plan so you don't have to think about what you're doing, so that you know what you are doing at every single point of the day. Reward yourself in the short term. Doesn't have to be big things, doesn't have to be expensive things, doesn't have to be sweets, doesn't have to be stars on a chart. What are you going to work for in the short term? And three, think about your goal, your motivation. What are you aiming for? And keep reminding yourself of that. Okay guys, I hope that was helpful. I hope it wasn't too naggy. 
Um, anything else you need help with, just let me know and I'll do my very, very best. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you want to say thank you, or if you want access to my online classroom priority video requests, or to see all the books I'm publishing, you can pop over to Connors or keep up to date with everything on my website. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And if you follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook, you'll get all the updates there. Thanks for watching guys. I really hope you found this helpful anything else you need, any other help you need, just let me know below.